Hello. Okay. I'm going to show you how to create a Google form. And this is what I used for years, literally until last night when I switched to use forms that were on uh, travel joy, because I just started using travel joy as like my CRM. Um, that is a paid product, but once you start getting, um, a lot of trips going and, it's just, it's got a lot of automation. It's, it's pretty awesome. So we can talk about that in another video if you want more information about that and why I decided to do that. But for over five years in my business, I used a Google form to collect quotes from people. So I'm going to show you first of all, what those looked like, how I divided them, and then I'll show you how to set one up yourself. So let me share my screen. Okay. So when you log into your Google drive, um, you might see files here. I closed mine off just so everyone couldn't see all the things. Um, but all you have to do is go to new and then you'll click Google forms and it will open up um, an untitled form like this. I'm going to show you my three. So I had three different ones just because over time as years went on, I really was booking for Disney trips booking for cruises or then just general, you know, trips where maybe it's national parks or an international trip or anything, not a cruise or Disney. And I divided it this way because there were specific questions. I learned that I was constantly asking people. So it's just easier for me to get the information on one form. So I'm going to show you my general trip form first. Um, so I put information up here at the top, please fill this form out as completely as possible. So I can get you quotes to you in a timely manner Please note, I do not book flight only requests or requests just for one night at a hotel at this time. Um, this honestly, if you, especially if you are doing this part time, I recommend doing this. Um, just as a travel agent, you can get commission on flights, but you have to like add it above the normal price of the flights. Um, the other reason I don't like to do book only, uh, flight only requests is because I found that you know, it was easier for the airline to communicate directly with a client than me to do it. Now I'll do flights when it's booked with a package, um, but I just don't do flight only requests. Honestly, it's just not worth my time at this time. Now, would I do it for someone who's a really good client and has booked other things for me and they really need my help? Sure. Um, but I, I don't do that. Um, I just don't do it. So then the same thing with one night at a hotel, uh, one night at a hotel, I've done for people. And especially if it's something like a Marriott or, you know, a smaller, um, not very expensive hotel, you might get like $3. So again, that's just, unless it's someone who is coming back to you time and time again, um, and they're a good client and you just want to do it to them, like for, you know, to help them out. Sure. Um, but other than that, I just say, you know, like it, it would be in your best interest just to, to find that, uh, on your own. Okay. So put whatever up here at the top that you would want. I also put, if you're booking a Disney or universal vacation, let me know as I have a different form for that. Um, I didn't put cruise on there. I don't know why I didn't, but anyway, so this is my general trip planning form. I have the title up here at the top info, and then the things I wanted to collect. I want their email, um, their first and last name, their mailing address. And I divide these into four separate ones because if I don't put them in four separate ones, 90% of people never put their zip code and then I'm Googling it. So again, this is just saving me time here. Um, phone number. Do I have a number on there twice? No. Okay. Uh, what's your birthday? You're going to need to know month, date, and year. Usually, um, especially for international travel, you'll have to enter that information and then where do you want to go on your trip? List all preferences of cities to visit, activities you want to do. What are you hoping to have me book? Um, and I have these as check boxes so people can check as many things as they want on here. What are the requested dates of your trip? Include month, date, and year. How many days are you wanting it to be? Six days, five nights. Preferred airport if you're requesting transportation. If multiple are fine, list them. What are your hotel or cruise room preferences? How many beds do you need? What kind of beds? A suite? How many adults and kids per room? Um, and then I, I don't know why I have this on here because I think this is that back before I had um, my cruise form as well. Do you have a hotel chain or cruise line preference? What are you requesting? If so, list it. What amenities are must-haves? Um, and this actually should have been instead of multiple choice check boxes so that people could check more than one. I don't need other 
how many adults, including you, are going to be traveling? That question's kind of redundant, but list complete birthdays and names of everyone in your party, um, especially names. You're going to need full names for booking, so you want to know that. List total number of adults and children combined with this trip. What is your budget for the trip? Please be specific and honest. I will find you the best deals possible. Are you working with another agent? And I always put, if yes, please don't submit this form. We all get the same prices, so we don't want to waste anyone's time. I have had people before who, once I did all of the work, they were like, well, that's the same price that this other agent got, so I'm going to go with them. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Okay. So you definitely want to have something on there to help qualify your um, people. Are you wanting to book in the next month? If people mark no, then I usually reach out to them and say, you know, when it's closer to the time that you want to book, let me know. Um, you can give them like a ballpark, but I wouldn't spend too much time looking for them because they're not serious about booking. And then, you know, if no, when are you hoping to book? Are you celebrating something special? What else do I need to plan for you? Um, if this is international, do you already have a passport? If people say no and they want to travel in three months, you know, three weeks somewhere internationally, that's going to be an issue. So that's where you're going to have to educate your client, you know, about that. What sort of trip are you looking for? This will help you with the vibe for what you pick. What kind of lodging do you prefer? Do you need a rental car? And then this is important. Who referred me so I can thank them. And then I have my email down here and let people know I'll follow up within 48 business hours. Um, once you have that, this is what I send. All you have to do is to click send. You can email it to someone. I usually do this copy link. I click to shorten the link so it's not as long. Click copy. Um, you can also, you know, share on Facebook if you click that link. Twitter, I don't know why you would do that, but you could. <laughs> um, and then you can change, well, and I'll show you all the different things. So this is what I have on my trip form. Let's look at the cruise form. This one's pretty simple. Please use this form to help me plan your cruise vacation. A lot of the same questions. Email, first and last name, mailing address, all divided up. Birthday, are you looking to do an ocean cruise or a river cruise? If you know your cabin type, which do you want? And I have them as check boxes so people can check whichever ones are um, suitable. How many cabins are needed? Up to four people. Um, sometimes you can do five in a suite. It depends on the cruise line. Unless people are doing like the giant, like two or three bedroom rooms that you can get more than five. What are the requested dates? If flexible, give me a month range. What are your preferred ports? So I actually pulled up, um, I think I had up carnival cruises maybe, or maybe this was, um, I don't remember. I had one of the cruise lines up and I just wrote their cruise line ports on here. Um, but then I also added anywhere out of Florida, out of Texas, <laughs> out of California, New York, Virginia, or I'm open. How many nights would you like your cruise to be? This is pretty standard numbers here. Um, these are Disney themes. Do you want to do at the at themed cruise? And then I added, I don't care. This one's not a required question. You'll notice if it has a red star, that's a required question. And you can change whether they're required or not right here by toggling that on or off. Um, please list full names of guests and ages at time of travel. So I put examples on there. List birthdays and names of everyone in your party, including the year born. I'm doing this with birthdays because some people will put that the um, their kids are like nine, but then at the time of travel, they've had a birthday and they're 10. And if this is like a Disney, Disney changes um, prices between the ages of nine and 10. So 10, it will be they'll actually, they're an adult price. Three to six is a kid's price. So that's why I asked for birthday because once I enter it, when I go to check out, I don't want the price to go up and then me to have to check back in to make sure it's okay to book. Are you celebrating something special this trip? Do you have a preference of location? What else do I need to plan for you? Do you want a price to stay ahead or behind at Disney World or Disneyland if you're close to one of those or another location? If it's not Disney related, that's an important question that'll help you um, hopefully add to your commission. Give me an idea of your budget. Do you want to include gratuities at the time of booking? Do you want to include travel protection? And then I always put recommended because as travel advisors, we're always supposed to recommend travel protection, um, company or boat preference, what you're looking for at a ship, ports of call that you'd like to go to. If none, please tell me. 
you know, what area you're looking for. So if people are just like, I want to book a cruise. Well, do you want to go to on a Bahamas cruise, a Caribbean cruise, a Mexican cruise, an Alaskan cruise, a transatlantic cruise, South American cruise, you know, anything else. And then same thing here. I'll follow up um, within 48 hours. Once um, people have filled it out, you can see their responses here. I'm not going to click on it just because it lists people's emails. Um, and then, you know, I don't actually do anything with the settings there. Okay. And then let me show you my Disney form. Same sorts of questions. Um, but again, this one is asking Disney related questions. Do you want the dining and photo pass? There's two types of dining plans. Tell me which one interests you. How many days of park tickets? Do you want park hoppers or theme, um, one day theme park tickets? So this one's just, you know, a little bit different room type, et cetera. Okay. So let me show you how to create your own. So I'm just going to call this test, um, trip quote form. And then here's, you can, where you can write info here. If you want to bold certain things, you can, et cetera. And then all you have to do, it'll have a question up here to start. You click on it, um, first name, and it usually auto auto populates what it, what type of answer it thinks you wants in it. For a name, you're going to want a short answer. So that was correct. Um, and I want that to be required. So I hit that on. Okay. Then you can either duplicate it or you can click here to add another question, either one. Um, and then I'm going to put last name. Wait a second. It changed it to short answer text. I want to make that required. Okay. Next question, email address. Again, change it to a short answer for me. Here, if I click here, if you want to add multiple choice, drop downs, different things you definitely can. Um, now let's see, uh, which port of call is your preference? So I'll show you how I did that. You don't want multiple choice because then they can just hit one. So if you do checkbox, then you can add, um, multiple. So then you just click to add more etc. Okay. And if you want to make it required again, you can click here and make it required at the end where I want to add info and not have a question. I'm going to click here to add text. And this is where if I highlight that, thank you for filling out the form. I'll be in touch, whatever. Okay. So this is just really short. Um, you want to change the name of it from untitled form to your the name of your form. So all you have to do once you title it here is click up here and it'll automatically change the name. Um, and then I'm going to show you some things that I do for responses. I'm going to click these three lines and get an email notification for responses. That way you will know without constantly checking this form if people have filled it out. Um, once you have people in here, you, if you click link to sheets, it will create a spreadsheet for you with all this information. That's really nice to see. Um, and you'll be able to pull up everyone's answers. It auto makes everything purple for Google, but if you want to change any of that, you can do that here. You can change it to green, blue. Um, I usually change it to pink. <laughs> so you can do that. And then you click add. That makes it pink. You can change the fonts. Um, I usually make them my brand fonts, which are Poppins. So I change everything to Poppins. Add a header. You can add a header. Um, they have travel ones on here if you want. So this was a cruise form. So if I put cruise, I click insert. you'll see it changed it changed the background color and then it puts it right up here. You can also um, upload your own if you want. You just have to make a picture that's like this size. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So you put all your info. You can go in here and edit this form at any time. So if you're doing this and you're like, People keep telling me that they want to cruise out of Tampa and it wasn't an option. Just come back in here and add Tampa. 
and then click out of it. When you click out of it, um, it saves. You can see up here, it says all changes saved in Drive. So it automatically saves and updates. If you want to preview what it looks like, you can click here. This is what people will see. It's not published yet. So you're going to want to click publish. Anyone with the link can respond, click publish. And then once it's published, you can click up here, copy responder link, shorten URL and click copy. And that's how you will share it out to people to fill out your quote form. So let me know if you have any um, questions. Like I said, I didn't used to have three different forms. I used to just have this general trip planning form. Um, that's why it had things on here about Disney and cruising. However, you'll see, well, I did, I did have 51 families fill this out. Disney, I had 43. So, you know, if you start realizing that you have a lot of people in a certain area and it requires some extra questions about dining plans and things like that, that don't make sense for someone in Europe, you can make another form. Um, now, what you can do if you want to pretty much use all the same questions in your own form is you can duplicate it. So you can click to make a copy. When you make a copy, um, you can call it whatever you want. And then um, say I wanted to make this in like a Disneyland planning form. I could do that and then go down and add questions or modify them as needed. And this is for Disneyland, so I can take that out. And that's an, an easy way to duplicate your forms to have some different ones if you want. And then again, push publish, publish, and then you'll click copy. All right. I hope this was helpful and makes sense and helps you streamline your process for creating a trip form. And then when you go to your Google um, Drive, it will they'll all be in here. You'll see my trip planning forms right there that I can open up. All right, take care.